Now, these are actually Irish there, are they? The ones are hen raped now, are raped us with a bottle. Right. That's how I got them so tame. And what do you do, just breed them for eating or for breeding? And what about the one with the antlers? He won't come near you at all, I suppose. That's as close now as he'll come. Right. In the winter time, he'd come very close to you. When, did, when deer would be tending you for food, right. they'd come very close to you. The wild ones now would actually come that close to you in the winter time when you'd have to feed them. But they won't have grasses, geese, they don't tend to come that near, you know. Now, how long will you keep these before you, um, well, you actually slaughter them yourself, do you? Yeah, but I, I sell, I sell a short breeding stock now. I buy them in England to bring them over and send them on. Right, right. So you don't actually slaughter them yourself? I slaughter uh, some different what need for all things. Right. I kind of get too attached to that. Oh, I, you would, yeah. I hate yeah. slaughtering what I'd have myself, actually. Yeah. You'd rather have somebody else slaughter it for you? Well, I, I'd slaughter somebody else's quicker than I'd slaughter my own. Right. They're getting like pets. <laughs> mm. What about in the winter when it's really thick snow? Will you have to have them up this end of now, the this yard? this little fella here, is he a male, is he? That's a, fe a young female. Is it? Yeah. He's got a different forehead than the others, like, you know? Yeah, but he's young. Right. That's his age. And these are the males out here, are they? There are two males there yeah. now. There are two young males. I had um, about 400 deer here for the winter. Did you? Yeah. Very nice. I sell them all the same, you know. Yeah. Mm. Where would they be when it's thick? <laughs> Uh, this is the, the, uh, the town of Kilfinnan, a quaint little place. Um, yeah, I've got a sister-in-law or a family live in this town. It's, uh, oh, it's pretty old. It's mostly farming around the place. What did uh, young Anita say? Nothing. Fourteen pubs, pubs in it. One and one, one supermarket. <laughs> so I'm doing a view of up the street and down the street and try to show you some of the shops and what they what it looks like. This is the centre of the town. That was a corner. Here's one of the pubs there. The green bar. It was really bright but very cold. And I wasn't very warm standing on these corners taking it. And it was May, so it should have been warm.
this is the business center up down. The bank there and then all the shops and hardware shop and anything you want there. Not many people around but plenty of um, industry. As you can see, it's it's rush hour at, at, at the moment, so um, you could fire a gun down the town and probably miss, wouldn't hit anybody. And another pub there. Blogs doing a big construction job there on the corner. This is down the bottom end of town. Yeah. There's some new houses there. All the houses are, are made of stone. There's no bricks used at all around the place. And the walls are about, oh, maybe two foot six thick. They, they bring, they, you know, all, all the stones and rocks are brought in from the fields for the building. and they build the walls and they build the fences all out of this rocks and stone. That's what they call the the grotto. Nearly every little village in, in Ireland has got one of them. It's supposed to, you know, bring good luck. see from that farmhouse that we stayed in and uh, I've got my sister-in-law's husband with us so I'll turn off the music and, and let you have a listen to him explain and what, it, what it's all about.
from last night. That's, yeah. That's the back that's of it. That's in that batch there. No, look. As you're looking up there. Right. As you're looking up there. What's that there? There should be more or less down there? here, Tabba. Uh, will you look? Yeah. See, see out here over the holly bush there, look. That one there with the two red bands there, the two red... What's the name of that? That's, the, the, that's the old the old farm yard they called it long ago. And it does it, 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 it's, it's an organic farm now, an Englishman bought it. it. It's got nothing to do with the castle? No, it, it was belonged to the castle farm, really. Right. But he bought it. It's the old farm yard. And, and he never interfered with the structure of it. Right. He left the arches and all, and it's like, you know, so Charles Waddle is a nice fellow, too. That's... that's um, that's Bally Organ there on the Holland Inn, look. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Needless said, this is one of the original cottages not been touched. Because he's lived here all his life, he knows all the history and he's telling me about everything as we're driving along, which is really, really very interesting. And I wish you could hear him still telling the thing, but he's sitting in the car with Maura. Thank you.